breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Hope for Unam Dekanu as his British lawyer determines to enforce UN's order on his release. Hope for Unam Dekanu as his British lawyer determines to enforce UN's order on his release. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Unam Dekanu's British lawyer, Bruce Fain, is fully out to ensure that Kanu regains his freedom as he writes to the British envoy to Nigeria, Katrina Lange. However, Bruce Fain, the special counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, had written a letter to the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lind, asking about the steps she has taken to ensure the enforcement of the United Nations, UN, Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Commission on Kano's case. Recall that the UN Working Group had ordered the Nigerian government to free Unam de Kano from the custody of the DSS unconditionally, noting that the IPOB leader did not commit any known crime. Nevertheless, the letter written by Mr. Fain accused both Nigel and Kenya of Kanu's abduction, rendition, torture and continued detention and recommended payment of adequate compensation to him. The letter addressed the IPOB leader as a British citizen, questioning the reason behind the continued silence of Britain over the ordeals of a citizen when there is a document she could make use of in ensuring the release of Unam de Kanu. On July 20, 2022, the United Nations Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention issued in an, a unanimous opinion addressing United Kingdom citizen Unam de Kanu's kidnapping torture, extraordinary rendition, and protracted detention without trial by Nigerians acting in collusion with Kenya. Among other things, the working group opinion called upon Nigeria to take urgent action to ensure the immediate unconditional release of Mr. Kanu. Unam Kanu is a British citizen. He has suffered far more than Captain Jenkins at the hand of Nigeria and Kenya has corroborated and held by the UN Working Group. Yet, you have done nothing to secure Mr. Kanu's immediate and unconditional release as mandated by international law. Indeed, you have idled like Nero Fiedlin while Rome burned. You cannot claim ignorance. A copy of the Crystal Clear Working Group opinion is before you. You are embarrassing the United Kingdom and the cause of human rights. Take of, take of the stupendous contrast, the United States is moving heaven and heart to obtain the release of a United States basketball player from Russia after she pled guilty to a drug violation. It has offered to trade a notorious imprisoned arms trafficker, Victor Bout, in exchange for Brittany Greener's freedom. Part of the letters read. Furthermore, 
Mr. Fein had given the Nigerian government a six-month ultimatum to comply with the UN opinion or the world body would be forced to take action against it. Unam Dekano's British lawyer, Bruce Fein, is fully, is fully out to ensure that Kano regains his freedom as he writes to the British envoy to Nigeria, Katrina Lange. However, Bruce Fein, the special counsel to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, had written a letter to the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lange, asking about the steps he has taken to ensure the enforcement of the United Nations, UN Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Commissions on Kano's case. Recall that the UN Working Group had ordered the, the Nigerian government to free Unam Dekanu from the custody of the DSS unconditionally, noting that the High Pope leader did not commit any known crime. Nevertheless, the letter written by Mr. Fain accused both Nigel and Kenya of Kano's abduction, rendition, torture and continued detention and recommended payment of adequate compensation to him. The letter addressed the High Pope leader as a British citizen, questioning the reason behind the continued silence of Britain over the ordeals of a citizen when there is a the document she could make use of in ensuring the release of Unam de Kano. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is.